everybody, what is going on? My name is Harry and welcome everybody to another Roblox Studio video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Backrooms game just like what I was just shown. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this. Okay everyone, so here we are in Studio and the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make the floor. So we're going to get to this uh, part here, make sure it's anchored. I'm going to change the colour here to what I've pasted, which is the fawn brown colour. It's a very, you know, dull colour for the Backrooms, which the Backrooms really is. We're going to go ahead and make it fabric, wherever it's going to be up here. Fabric. So there we go. You may think that looks a bit bad to start with. That's because we're using the old materials. We're going to go to the material service here, go down, and then change uh, this to U2022 materials. So, what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to go ahead and make our layout for the back rooms. Now, I recommend this bit bigger, about one stud bigger than the spawn location. So, we're going to put that on top there. And for this, we're going to go ahead and make it 100% uh, transparent. So we cannot collide with it and we're going to delete this little decal inside of it. So here we go. Now we have ourselves our thing. So there we go. We now have our back rooms layout. Now we have our flooring. Let's go ahead and make the walls. So we're going to go ahead and add a part in and we're going to grab a texture. So here's the settings for the texture we need here. As you can see, make sure you scroll into this and add it all in. And then duplicate it um, six times for each face. And then do like front, left, bottom, right, uh, back and top. So we now have a fully textured out item. We're going to go ahead and then drag this out like this. Make sure it's up to the side here. And then we just going to go and fill this all in. And there we go, we've now completed our walls. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the ceiling now. So we're going to add a part in and make just one part for the entire ceiling. So drag this out to there and then go ahead and bring it across. And then what we want to do to make sure that light doesn't bleed through at the top here, you can see some lights bleed through. Just want to thicken this quite a bit because, you know, you're not going to see it from the outside. As you can see, that is a lot better. Um, so yeah, let's add some texture to this roof. So this here is the texture we kind of want, uh, all the information of it here, the asset ID, studs, colour, everything here. And all we want to do is make sure that this is not at the front, instead it's at the bottom. And that will then allow us to get our roof texture. And yeah, there we go, we now have our main sort of structure. You might want to bring this roof down a bit more, I think it's a bit high currently. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. Um, if you want to make lights, all they are is you want to go ahead and add part in, uh, bring this part down. Now all the lights are simply neon parts. Now we'll go over in a minute how they to make them look a bit better with lightning. Uh, we're gonna go to neon here and make sure it's like this kind of this ghost gray probably. No, it's a bit bright. Probably uh, the fossil. And then we're gonna go ahead and add what is known as a surface light. The surface light will go on the bottom and will light up the surface. So let's go to the surface light here, shadows on and make sure it does bottom bit. And you can see we have this filled up. Uh, Mid looks a bit bad right now. We go to lighting and change this over to future mode just so we get a bit more realism. Um, I recommend increasing the surface distance of the light. There we go, that's a bit better. And then you wanna go ahead, if I just turn off this thing here, you can drag it up a bit more and we have our light sorted. We just wanna duplicate this now and bring it across our map. Okay, with that all fixed, we now have our back rooms complete. However, we are lacking lighting, so let's go ahead and do that. To sort out our back rooms lighting, we're going to go first of all to the toolbox and search up sky because we would like to find a certain sky that's here. This is the aesthetic sky. Now, we can delete all these little effects, by the way, and as you can see, the sky looks really rubbish. I mean, that's understandable because we're not really using it, although it just gives a tint in the back rooms, which we'll lose later on when we add the atmosphere, which we're going to add now. As you can see, that looks a lot nicer. We can uh, give some offset to it if you really want to. You can increase it if you want it to be a bit more foggy in the back rooms. However, I think that our um, little vibration effect will do that. So there we go. We have our sort of fog in the back rooms now. Make sure you can, you can change things like the color if you really want to, but I don't recommend doing that. And add something called bloom because bloom, you can go to here, um, change the threshold and stuff, and this blooms the neon in different ways, so I like to put this at uh, 1.5, and then make the size a bit less, and then the threshold, I like to increase a bit to about there. There we go, that gives us our light effects very nicely. Now we just wanna go ahead and add a depth of field. Depth of field, it allows you to get this sort of really nice blur effect. However, I like to do give uh, get a bit more distance to it because you know you don't want it to be a bit too obstructive so yeah that's more like it that will give us our look we want 
and that is that for the lighting again the ambience can be changed if you want it a bit darker so yeah that, that is our backrooms lighting sorted let's go ahead and get the player effects all right so a couple of things you want to do to the players, you want to head over to the starter player here, you want to go down, you want to change the camera mode to lock first person, just like that. We then want to go down further and we want to turn off emotes. Um, we want to change the walk speed here to 8 and we want to put the jump power to 0 which gives us this sort of, you know, really slow feeling game which we want to have. Um, you want to feel, you know, powerless in this. Then you want to head over to Maximum ADHD's uh, Character Real Realism Pack. Um, you want to go over to this release down here, click on this, and then press on the source code. When that is installed, you just want to go ahead and open it up. Open up the folder here and get this RBXM file, drag and drop it in, just like this. And then we get this folder. I'm going to put the server here into Server Script Service and the client here into starter player scripts. What this will do is allow you to see your body in first person and also you get the nice sound effects. And then last but certainly not least, we're gonna go ahead and add a local script into uh, starter GUI and we're gonna call this a fuzzy effect, I guess, if you wanna call it that. So what we're gonna do for here is I actually have a copy and paste we wanna do. To get this grainy sort of film script, you wanna head over to my Discord server here in the resources tab. Okay, we have this whole little message here. You wanna expand it. And you just want to go ahead and copy and paste all of this. It's not made by me, obviously. It's made by Boat Bomber. Thank you very much to him. It's uh, much appreciated. We want to go ahead and paste this into here. And what this will do is it'll create the really nice kind of fuzzy effect, which we get um, in the front of the back room, sort of camera look. So, yeah, let's go ahead and test it and see how it looks so far. Okay, this is looking and sounding brilliant. As you can hear, we have that lovely sound effect. The grain effect looks brilliant. Everything's nice and smooth. All we're missing now is a being to hunt us down, so let's go ahead and find that. Again, for this monster, head over to the monster 2 and just press download and drag and drop it in like you did for the realism. Again, I didn't make the model for this, however, um, I do know the person who did, so thank you very much to him. But yeah, no, here is our backrooms model. We're going to go ahead and place him somewhere like here, away from our spawn, and let's go ahead and test the game for the final time. Uh, where am I? This is very different. Um, is anyone here? I don't like this very much. Is anyone here? Ah! <laughs>